Hello and welcome everybody to the first gaming PC builds of the month for 2016 with the January builds here. Uh, I do these builds every single month for all you newbies, all the new people that are coming around here. Um, I run this site at noobcomputerbuild.com and this is a quick overview of the three builds that are posted every single month with descriptions as to why and in three budget categories that you can see here. So we start with the $1,500 one, and then go to a $1,000 one, and then a $600 one. Quick explanation as to why I have those three. I think they're the perfect three budgets for those looking in three different categories, beginning with the $600 one, being kind of the entry level 1080p build. For those that want to kind of max out most of the games and play most games, maybe scale down a little bit on the very, very, very intense high graphics type games. Uh, but $600 will usually get you there. And so, and then at the, the $1,000 point, that's for anyone that wants to play, well, it will play anything maxed out at 1080p right now and can even play games at high settings into 1440p should you want to go that route. And then if you go to the $1,500 route, it kind of is one of those ones where it will max out 1440p. You can play into 4K if you want to, but if you really want to max out 4K, you got to get it into uh, SLI or Crossfire for the most part. Single cards don't really get you there yet, but you can play for sure with the scaled down settings. But let's get started uh, with the $1,500 Gaming PC Build of the Month for January 2016. Remember, all of the hardware will be linked in the description below. Uh, and as well the link to the site if you want to leave a comment on the site come visit say hello have any questions or you just want to read the more in depth as to why I choose all of the hardware but let's get started with the $1,500 build $1,500 build so this I tried to change it up this month so it does cater to those that are looking wanting to know what these builds are capable of at, at what res resolutions and what settings to expect out of their game so this one will start the 1440p $1,500 build. It comes out around $1,500. Right now it's $1,414, for example. Uh, so we start with the processor. We have the Intel i5-6600K for $289.89 right now. Uh, and that uh, it doesn't come with a, a CPU cooler, so we do have to add one there, but it can be easily overclocked, which is uh, the perfect for uh, using the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo air cooler. Uh, it's a cheap $2,999. Then we pair that with this motherboard, which is the Gigabyte GA uh, Z170X Gaming 5 version. And then that comes out to 177.78. And you can find that, I've seen it go down in price quite a bit, so you can find that, find that for a lower price. The graphics card we have is this Gigabyte GeForce GTX 980 Ti. This is the real driving force behind this build and what will max out the games at 1440p, uh, 629.99. On that note, if you aren't going to go over 1080p, then don't go over and above the 600 to the $1,000 build. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, that's just an aside note. Uh, for RAM, we have the Crucial Ballistic Sport 16 gigabyte kit. So 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, $86.17. I do not include an HDD in here. Uh, you can get one if you want more space for cheap, such as the, the drives that you'll see below. But uh, what is included is an SSD such as this Samsung 850 EVO, 250GB ver uh, version of this, 8343. And for the power supply, we have the EVGA Supernova 750G2, 89.99. It has gone down in price, it's fully modular. This is a great power supply, and I've recommended it for months and months and months. Uh, computer case, I've recommended this before. And I generally try to recommend newer cases for uh, the monthly build refreshes, but uh, this one deserved uh, kind of a uh, I know I mentioned again since it is a popular quality case for $89.99, the Fantec and Phil Pro. Um, and then I no longer include optical drives, DVD drives, whatever you want to call them in the builds because they are, in my opinion, not so much needed for more than an OS install. And you can do that uh, via USB key or uh, an external hard drive just as easy. But they are only about 15, 20 bucks if you want to get one of those. But this build comes out to $1,514. For those of you that want upgrade suggestions for the future or have a little more to spend now, you can go with the Intel Core i7 6700K uh, processor instead of the 6600K. Uh, that's only if you do more than gaming, if you like to show off, <laughs> uh, or you do such as video work or graphics work. That might help you with rendering there. Uh, you can go with, uh, uh, if you do, are you serious about 4K gaming, you can go with the, another Gigabyte GeForce GTX 980 Ti and SLI. I would suggest bumping up the power supply in that case to an 850 watt uh, minimum, which costs about 120 bucks uh, right now for uh, the uh, 
bumping up the 751 that's included in the build to the 850 watt one. You can get a liquid CPU cooler, which does provide a little more cooling and a little more of a customized cooling experience, uh, such as the Corsair Hydro Series H100i GTX. And then you could also get a, uh, um, a larger SSD, a uh, very fast one in this case. It's a very, uh, very good SSD here, a very fast one terabyte SanDisk Extreme Pro, uh, more specifically uh, 960 gigabytes, but that comes out to $379.99. Now moving on to the $1,000 build. So this is the mid-range build. The build that is for those that want a game, uh, well, maxed out at 1080p for sure, and then also high settings in some games at 2560 by 1440. Uh, that's a spelling mistake right there. <laughs> uh, or uh, a little bit of a mistake in the writing there. Uh, the processor again, we have an Intel Core i5-6600K, $289.99. The cooler, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, $2899. And then the motherboard being the Gigabyte GA uh, Z170X Gaming 3. So the one above in the $1,500 build was the Gaming 5. This comes out to $153.01. For our graphics card, I'm not recommending you buy both of these, in, uh, but rather uh, they're alternative cards. So you can go with the, and here's a quick little tidbit, but I would look at benchmarks for games that you play to get more specific in the terms of what the settings are gonna be for what you are going to play in specific games that you wanna play. Uh, but as a general rule of thumb, I'd go with the GTX 970, such as the one here, $299.99, if you were more uh, oriented towards 1080p gaming. Otherwise, if you want to get a little bit of a push at 1440p, uh, go with uh, the R9 390, such as this one, for $319.99. General rule, rule of thumb might not always be the case. Like I said, look up benchmarks. Uh, RAM, we have a Crucial Ballistic Sport 8GB kit. Uh, in this case, I have DDR4 RAM instead of the 16 gigabyte kit that's in, uh, included in the $1,500 build, $59.43. Uh, this build, just to bring the cost down this month, uh, we have the Seagate one terabyte HDD for $48.10, so it is cheap for a lot of space. But I also, this is alternative storage, this is not included in the base price, but you could go with a 120 or a 250 gigabyte SSD, such as this Samsung one. You can also get the 120 gigabyte version, uh, which I, I think is quoted in the price here, because the Another mistake here, but it's a two. It's supposed to be $89.99. Uh, this is $67.99, and that is referring to the 120 gigabyte version. You can get them both as well if you want to use this as a startup disk and have that one as your kind of media drive to store most of your stuff on. Power supply: uh, EVGA Supernova 650 G1, 7488, and then a computer case. This is a new case, uh, recently released. Um, Bit Phoenix Mid Tower uh, Nova. K6999. Like I said, I'm not including an optical drive in the builds. This comes out to $1,030 currently. And for those that want some upgrade suggestions for the future or have more to spend, you can go with an SSD because it's not included in the build. This is, in this case, the 250 gigabyte version of the Samsung 850 Evo. Uh, you could get two of either of the graphics cards depending on the one you choose so crossfire your r9390s or you could uh, sli your gtx 970s you can also get tons more space with the two terabyte uh, seagate uh, drive for not much more 70 dollars 26 cents you could get a liquid cpu cooler for a more customized cooling experience this is uh the lower version of the one that's included in the 1500 not included but uh, in the alternative section of the 1500 dollars build rather uh, this is the HADI GT8999. Now, finally, the last build uh, for the first builds here in January 2016 uh, is the $600 gaming PC build. Uh, more specifically, the 1080p build. This will max out some games, and you might have to scale back in some games, but this is pretty much will do it all for most mainstream gamers, in my opinion. Uh, the, starting off with the processor, with the AMD FX8320 8-core processor, Black Edition, it's unlocked, you can overclock it, $135.99, uh, Asus M5A97R2, uh, motherboard, uh, $93.99, graphics card, we have this XFX R9380, $179.99, 8GB kit of Crucible Ballistic Sport DDR3 RAM, $37.49, 1TB Seagate hard drive, $47.18. And then the EVGA 600 watt uh, power supply you see here for $39.99. And then uh, your case, the Cooler Master Elite 431 Plus, $58.04. And this comes out to almost $600 on the dot. Uh, and then 
as per usual, alternatives, you have a little more to spend. So you can get a different CPU cooler, such as this liquid one here, Corsair Hydro Series H55. You can get a better graphics card, such as Radeon R9 380X. Uh, it's newer. You could go with a better motherboard, such as this Gigabyte uh, 990FX. Uh, it, you'll get slightly better overclocking experience using this, 144.99, and then Samsung 850 Evo 120GB SSD if you want to increase those load and boot times. And that does it for the three builds. Uh, like I said, visit the site, newcomputerbuild.com, ask questions, leave comments, uh, subscribe if you want to. Um, and as well with the articles, it's not posted yet, but I do uh, every month post a peripherals article to go along with this. Uh, so there's three categories of keyboards mice and monitors that uh, change seldomly depending on the releases since they aren't released newly as often but I tried to recommend in three categories of kind of a higher end to mid-range to the more basic gaming PC peripherals so please check that out at the site uh, and until next month uh, I'll see you then and happy new year